Hi ho, everybody. <clears throat> I think sometimes these photographs are are uh, more interesting to people who, other than myself, I'm so familiar with many many of these photographs that they don't seem so dynamic to me anymore. It's too bad. I hate to feel that way, but I do. <clears throat> This one is a photograph that I'm very familiar with. I've been able to, to look at it for a number of years now. This, of course, is uh, Foster Boathouse, which uh, is down below. It was on the uh, west side of the river, down uh, below the uh, what is now the Vermilion R River Bridge. The R Vermilion River Bridge would be, the, the existing bridge today, would be here on the right. Uh, at the time, it was here on the left. As you can see, there's a walkway here, right through here. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea. And then back here in this area would be later on, most people will be familiar with the Crow uh, Lumber Company. Um, was built, originally it was the Freeze Lumber Company. <clears throat> but in any case, that's where the lumber yard it was. And of course, this house here. I remember this house when I was a young person, <laughs> two million years ago. When I was a young person, this, as I remember, was some sort of duplex. I, it may not be in, in, in this particular photograph. Maybe a one-family home, and I don't know who might have lived there. Maybe uh, Fosters lived there at the time. And I doubt if they lived in the boathouse here. Uh, the boathouse was very popular, as you can, can imagine. Just like today in that area, uh, a young fellow is renting uh, kayaks in that area today. Uh, and it was before uh, motor-powered boats, so what, what he was renting here is uh, uh, canoes and um, rowboats. Very nice, nice, nice business he had going. <clears throat> They did have problems later on uh, in the canoe rental and the boat rental thing because once in a while somebody would drown and that brought up a liability problem for some of these people. But by that time, I think Foster was gone out of this business. Out of, he had sold it off. Uh, as you can see, he sold other things. He had coffee and sandwiches, ice cream, soft drinks, cigars, tobacco, candy. So it was kind of a nice business. Uh, back over here, it's not there yet. It was the uh, gas station where Alan Thorley Deloyd is today. It would be in this area. That barn up there was closer to Sandusky Street. Um, but the gas station, that Hayes gas station, and then uh, what is Alan Thorley Deloyd today was right here. Uh, I know that uh, Nuggy Cook, Nuggy Hayes at the time when she was a little girl, she used to hang around this boathouse down here. Somewhere there's really a really neat, uh, uh, I think it's a painting uh, of this area and Nuggy's down here uh, standing on the, near the river. Uh, Nuggy says she used to come down here in all her, all, all her spare time moments because she liked to swim and stuff like that. They were good memories for Nug. Um, I don't, I don't think that Nuggy ever lived in this house here. I don't think the Hayes family was in Vermilion when this photograph was taken. This photo was probably taken around, uh, I'm thinking around 1920, because there's no motors on any of these boats. Uh, but Vermilion is a nice peaceful place, a uh, good place to be in the summertime. And this is really a great photograph. Hope you enjoy it.